Tell us what, how you plan to counter the balance on this committee, especially given all the different ways they want to go when it comes to weaponization of the federal government. Sure. Well, it's great to be here. And I'm so honored that our leader, Hakeem Jeffries, has chosen across the mosaic of the Democratic caucus members to fill the ranks of what I'm going to call the truth squad that are going to go up against uh, the Republicans on this, uh, as they call it, weaponization of the federal government. We're calling it the Committee on Insurrection Protection. So we've got <laughs> a lot of work to do. And uh, I think that we have a fantabulous team to be able to do it uh, under the auspices of our ex officio uh, ranking member, who will be Jerry Nadler from the Judiciary Committee. Thank you, Pascal. Good morning, Jonathan wow. Lemire. Great to see you again. We Good know Jim Jordan. You. Jim Jordan, of course, is heading the committee there for Republicans. He has made sure. no secret uh, that he believes that the federal government uh, was used to undermine the Trump presidency and Trump mm. since leaving office, Republicans in Congress, and so on and so on and so on. Um, you know, he's playing the cameras. We know that. He's been doing his whole career. How can you balance that with also still trying to project the idea that you're doing the business of the people of amid the sideshows. Sure. You know, we've made it clear at the beginning of this uh, Congress that we're willing to work across the aisle in a bipartisan manner with Republicans to solve the kitchen table issues that Americans are concerned with. And Republicans have shown again and again that they're more interested in performative politics. But what we're going to do is be a stopgap and the individuals who speak the truth on this committee at each and every turn. They're looking for conspiracies to create problems with no solutions to those problems. We're looking to solutions. Of course, there are areas that probably need to be investigated. We've seen the FBI agent who's recently been uh, indicted for giving secrets to the Republicans, as well as the work of Attorney General Barr in doing things to try and support Donald Trump, which might have thwarted our Constitution and the Justice Department's mandate. So those are things that, yes, let's look into those and let's be clear about that. But the fact that uh, the, the FBI director has stated that the greatest threat to the United States is homegrown terrorism, domestic terrorism, and white supremacy, and that causes the Republicans to clutch their pearls, uh, is something that, you know, we all see through that, and we're going to continually try and bring the truth to the table. Delegate Plaskett, there are plenty of civil liberties abuses within the federal government that have grounds to be investigated. Are, do you anticipate that, is there anything that's going to be cross-cutting and of bipartisan interest? Is there any way, or am I just being too Pollyannish, <laughs> that there could actually be some reforms coming out of this and not just have it be a partisan sideshow? Well, you know, you're an optimist. Some people are pessimists. I'm a realist. And we haven't seen the, from the Republicans that they're interested in doing that. But of course, we're going to offer that at, on the table, the areas that there do need to be some discussions. Listen, the IRS report. Recently, you and the media have reported that the IRS audits African Americans at a much higher disproportionate rate than they do other Americans. If we want to look into the IRS and their weaponization, let's do it on that front. And so we're going to offer areas that we think are important to look at. I'm sure the Republicans have their agenda as well, and we'll see where we come out. But just know that the Democrats that are there, we're there to do the work. And we're there to call out nonsense, to call out conspiracy theories, and to call out fear-mongering that the Republicans seem to be so good at. Democratic Delegate Stacey Plaskett of the beautiful U.S. Virgin Islands. <laughs> Delegate Plaskett, thanks so much for being here this morning. We appreciate thanks it. Good for to having see you. Me. Um, Brez, 